Hello everybody, Lady B here. Uh, this is going to be an update for my seedlings. And I've put some more out since I showed you all last time. But anyhow, this is what I've put out since I've talked to you all. These are mortgage lifter tomatoes, calendula, if that's how you pronounce it, flowers, some black creme tomatoes, that I got from Garden Frugal. And this is some sage that I desperately need is transplanted. And there I have another black cream that got a little bit big, so I'll put him in a little cup. And there's three calendulas over there. And these look pretty good. And there's one mortgage lifter tomato that I put into a cup also. I like putting them in these cups because you can see how much moisture is in the cups. Oh, and behind here is some herbs that I need to send to Woodsy Girl 62. These are hyssops, if that's how it's pronounced. And this is myrrh. And I have no clue what she's going to use them for. But I went to a shop the other day, and, well, it's actually been a couple weeks ago, I guess. But she asked me to pick her some up, and I need to get those mailed to her. But I need to make her something first, so I'm going to take you all in here. And, well, actually, outside. See the kids' toys? They're, those are Logan's toys. But I'm going to take you outside and show you... My seeds from out there, the good and the bad. This one over here, I hope you can hear me because of the traffic. These over here are some that I showed you last time, and no, they're not doing too good. I'll get you down here so you can see. They're not doing too good at all. I keep trying to think that they're going to make it, but they're trying. But these are some that you've seen also. And they're just still doing pretty good. Hopefully they're going to get put out in the garden in the next day or two. And these two right here are mortgage lifters that was in with the ones in the kitchen. Oh, about to lose my balance here. These, haha, <laughs> I bought those. But they're looking pretty good. These are uh, California Wonder peppers. And these are mortgage lifter tomatoes. Yes, they are heirloom. And my daughter gave me these t Mr. Stripies. I've never raised those before, so she gave me a couple. And those are some kind of cucumber plants. I'm not sure what kind. But over here, I have got, and I hope you can see them, got stevia plants. I've already topped these because they were about that tall when I got them and they were way taller than that so I went ahead and pinched them off put them in some rooting, so, uh, rooting powder I guess you would say and these are what I got this is them kind of planted again I've got those in those cups I'm going to let them take root in here before I transplant them into a pot I want to put them in a pot because I want to try to bring them in and winter them in the house. Maybe that way it'll make it till next year. But also I want to show you my potatoes if you can see them down there. And I'm standing up on my porch and this is my potatoes that's come up. The sun hasn't quite reached the bed yet, but it gets probably three or four hours, maybe a little bit more of sun a day. But I'll back up so you can see. The sun hasn't quite gone over there yet. But hopefully they'll grow. And I want to go ahead and get some more soil to put on those as they grow and figure out a way to maybe shore up the sides a little bit to keep the soil from going all over the place 
but that is my potato bed. And while I'm here, I'll show you if I can go down the steps without breaking my neck. Sorry about the all the wiggles, but I'm not too steady on my feet. But, just wanted to show you what made it over the winter time. And this did survive. I didn't cover it at all. This is my tomato plant. Let me go around the pole here. Not tomatoes. I mean strawberries. See little strawberries in there? They're all over the place. I don't have these covered, but I have the ones in the back that survived covered. I need to get these covered so I won't have to fight the birds over them. But there's going to be a few in there. And this is one of those topsy-turvy planters that I use and all, <laughs> all of them died except for what was in the top. But I just cut little X's in the sides and put uh, duct tape over it. Yeah, the old trusted duct tape. But I had a lot of them living last year, but I guess they can, it died over the winter. So I guess that's all to my update. I'll show you all a little bit more a little bit later when I get it all put in. And I think you're going to like my raised beds that I made. But we'll talk to you later. Thanks, everybody, for watching.